Hi there and welcome to the July 2023 solar update. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east, and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter. So that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Hub, and the Hypervolt EV charger. Right, so here we are, month of July. Uh, not a great month, uh, not as good as June. Uh, was expecting a lot more out of July, but as you all know, the weather in the UK for July has been pretty terrible. Uh, lots and lots of rain. Uh, great for the garden, but not great for solar panel production. So this is the full uh, month, 31 days in July, and the full month was 676.26 kilowatt hours. Uh, if we divide that by 31, then the average is 21.81 kilowatt hours per day so we had a really weird good day there look on the 7th um, we had a 36 but that was the only one over 35 or even over 30 um, of the whole month the next sort of closest one was on the 26th which was 29 and obviously the lowest 14th at 7 and 10 and 11 at the end of the month so not a great month at all really so how does that compare to previous years well i've only ever had one july before and that was last year in 2022 when i got 785 you can see those kind of three months all capped out 783 and august 783 and 785 in july whereas the july we just had 676 so a fair chunk missing i would say kind of four or five days really missing um we would have needed extra to kind of bump that up obviously you know about last month june was my best month ever at 835 and june was really good um it's just unfortunate that the july is not so good uh this year uh we'll have to see what august brings hopefully as you see the bottom there we've started august um on the first few days i'm just hoping that august is going to sort of come back and level up with last year's um, before that dreaded uh, drop that big kind of drop in September and October so August is the kind of last really good month so how did we use all of the uh, solar power that we generated well this is the hypervolt for the EV charger and in July we used a little bit less uh, 71 kilowatt hours most of this was through solar uh, we did go on holiday for 12 days in july so that's probably why that's a lot lower than the 172 um, that was used in june uh, which came from all solar again mainly into my car and my wife's car at the weekend when she's not at work so 71 kilowatt hours uh, was used in july in the cars so this is the uh, my energy online dashboard and we used 81 kilowatt hours uh, or the eddy used 81 kilowatt hours during the month of july to heat the hot water from solar so that's another 84 kilowatt hours used for the month as you can probably see here from the graph you can i think you can tell when we went on holiday um, sort of mid-july time to 24th when i basically turned it off uh, there was no point in heating the hot water uh, if we weren't here and then basically what I did was I did start it up a couple of days before we came back just so I knew that the tank was going to be um, full of hot water so yeah so for the month not bad 84 kilowatt hours going in there mostly tops it up every day from solar during the summer so this is the give energy uh, dashboard the online dashboard and the pie chart on the graph showing me what I've kind of used during the month so there was a little bit grid to home here three kilowatt hours um, seems to be just at the beginning of the month a tiny bit but um, a good reason at the end of the month because on the 31st of July I had to do an octopus intelligent uh, test on the EV so I had to uh, onboard that 
with my car and I'll do other videos about that as well and so I had to use a couple of kilowatts in order to um, get the car charging and to test that Octopus could speak to the car and this that and the other so that was the reason why I used a little bit of uh, energy at the end of the month otherwise we've been pretty pretty good and not needed to import uh, any um, power into the battery the battery's never really gone short and you can see the lower values here when I was on holiday during the during the month that uh, you know the battery needed less because no one was using it and it filled up pretty quick whatever it just used with the house being kind of uh, running on with you know an, in a sleep kind of state okay so this is the octopus dashboard for July this is what I've used uh, each day for electricity as you can see they haven't really used a lot I mean these values are very small 0.4 kilowatt hour really just where the battery is kind of uh, ramping up and down and things like that the first day I used one kilowatt hour uh, for some reason but the last day as I've spoke about used 1.7 there due to running a test on octopus intelligent charging my car otherwise it's been very low use uh, during the month so 1st of July to the 31st of July 10 kilowatt hours uh, was imported from the grid in total and now for export you can probably see the higher values there when we exported when we weren't around whereas other days were quite low I mean the best day for export probably 19 kilowatt hours 19 kilowatt hours so we did export quite a lot uh, during that period when we were away and I think you can tell when we kind of came back it always happens isn't it when you kind of you're away you're exporting loads or if you have a day out or something or you're not in the house kind of actively using um the power then you you know it just goes out the door uh, although we're still only getting 4.1 pence for it at the moment although i have now applied for scottish power at uh, 12 pence so just got to see if i get accepted on that and how long it actually takes uh, to get accepted so for the month of July, 1st of July, 31st of July, 213 kilowatt hours exported, uh, a lot more than what we normally export. Right, so on to some numbers. Um, the battery shortfall, don't really get one in, uh, in the summer months, but 2.58 kilowatt hours was used between 8 p.m. and 12.30 a.m., uh, mainly, I think, because of that test on Intelligent, which I did kind of about 11, 10.30, 11 o'clock at night, I believe, just to check that that was working okay. So for July 2023, as billed by Octopus Energy, so the grid import during the day on the day rate, which is uh, 40.13 pence, uh, we imported 8.75 kilowatt hours, which equaled £3.51. And now the night rate on go, we only used 1.99 kilowatt hours, which is crazy, really, hardly anything. Uh, seven and a half pence, uh, which equaled 15 pence. Uh, we exported, as I said, 213 kilowatt hours at 4.1 pence on the standard octopus outgoing, which gave us eight pounds 73. So the electric spend was three pounds 66 minus uh, the eight pounds 73 that we got for exporting. So that basically gave us a profit of five pounds and seven pence, mainly because we weren't here for a lot of the month. So that included running the house um, and the hot water and some uh, EV charging, obviously from solar, nothing really coming uh, out from the go at tariff because we only used like two kilowatt hours that month. So the gas for July, uh, we didn't use any. Uh, 1st of July to 31st of July. Uh, nice to know that the actual gas price has come down now from the beginning of July. It was on about 10 pence and now it's 7.4 pence uh, per kilowatt hour. Although we have had a new gas meter installed because last November uh, the gas meter stopped talking uh, to the smart meter. Uh, so I haven't been getting any values from that. So it took a while to get someone out to have a look at it. Uh, and they put a new meter in but it still won't talk to the electric meter, which is around the corner from the gas meter. Um, so I need to chase that up again and see if somebody can come out and probably put on a, uh, a booster or something like that. I believe there is such a thing, a dual band kind of booster so that uh, it might start talking to the electric meter sometime soon. Okay, so standing charges, good old standing charges. They have changed a little bit actually. 
Um, the gas is 27.47 pence a day times 31 days is £8.52 and the electric 37.65 a day uh, by 31 days is 11.67 so our electric total we were in profit by £5.07 but if I add on the standing charge um, we are basically only spent on electric £6.69 for the month and the gas obviously didn't use any but still had to pay the standing charge which was £8.52 so if I add those two together, the total for the month for the gas and electric was £15.21. So that was July. Let's hope for a better August, even though at the beginning of August it's still raining outside now and again. Um, tell me how you got on in July. Hopefully you did better than what I did. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.